We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Rebecca and Alec on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. And it's, it's a selfless, life-giving kind of love. It's agape in short. The other loves are lesser degree. They're, they're lesser degrees. It doesn't mean they're bad, it's just, they're not all in. But this, this agape, when Paul says, agape, 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 I mean, he's, he's relentless. And that, that phrase of love is, love is, love is, impatient, kind, not pretentious, not boasting, and, and all of those things carry the demand. That you, that you and I, you two, we live that out. That my life's not mine. And you're going to learn today, your life isn't your own anymore. You are one. I, Alec. I, Alec. Take you, Rebecca. Take you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Rebecca, take you, Alec, to be my husband. I, Rebecca, take you, Alec, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. It is my privilege to announce to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Rebecca and Alec Leesberg.
about it, James. I said, I, uh, I feel good about it. He says, let me tell you what my dad told me. I said, what? He says, I'm happy, I'm sad, and I'm angry. I thought, please tell me more. I'm happy for the two of you because you guys are in love, and it's so good to see them. So I'm very happy for you. I'm sad because I have she's my little girl, you know that, right? <laughs> but she's yours now, you know, and I've always told you to take care of her, right? And I'm angry because all my life I've been working so hard. And for all of you girls, right? I didn't get to be there all the time for you guys. So I'm angry at myself that I didn't get to spend time, more time with you. So, word of wisdom, spend time with your family. One thing my father-in-law used to say, and, and I think it's so true, is, you know, really the only thing you have in life that means anything is your faith in your family. And, you know, he's not here today, but I just, that's so true. So I just want to say to faith and family, let's tell us. Little things that may not seem big or memorable on their own, but all together they mean a little to me. You now get to build your team together, and you get to use that love and support of all of us. We are excited for what God has in store for you. You have to do one space problem. Shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, you might just be the first to win that loss.
Cause 